Hello everyone. I want to begin this video by thanking you for all of the nice, nice comments you have written below my videos. I really love you guys. Well, it's June, so I think we should celebrate with strawberries. These strawberries came with a little hairnet on top of them. We are going to make a glazed strawberry tart. The first thing we need is the pastry dough. And I'm going to make that dough right in my little food processor. One and a half cups or 190 grams of all-purpose flour. Then add a half teaspoon of salt and one fourth cup or 30 grams of confectioner's sugar. Pulse the machine just to combine the ingredients. Then add a half cup or 113 grams of cold, diced, unsalted butter. Pulse the machine just to break up the butter. Then add one large beaten egg. Turn the machine on and let it run until a crumbly dough develops. Dump the crumbly dough onto a non-floured work surface. I'm using my marble board here. And then gather the dough into a ball, flatten the ball into a disc, and then wrap the disc in cling film. And then pop this into the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes or even better, one hour. All right, my dough is nicely chilled. In fact, it's too chilled. It's hard as a rock now. So I'm going to pound it with a rolling pin just to make it more malleable. Roll the dough into a 12 inch diameter circle. I'm rolling my dough on this pastry cloth. I love the cloth because nothing sticks to it. And it's washable. I will link the cloth in the description below, just in case you are interested. We are at 12 inches. So now, fold the dough into a triangle and take a nine inch diameter removable bottom tart pan. Center the point of the dough at the center of the pan and unfold the dough. And then gently ease the dough into the pan. In other words, do not stretch the dough. If you stretch it, it will shrink in the oven. Use your thumbs to press the dough into the contours of the pan. You do not need to grease this pan because well, there is so much butter in this pastry dough that it's not going to stick to the pan. To remove the excess dough, simply take your rolling pin and roll it over the top. Use the tines of a fork to dock the dough. That means making little holes all along the bottom. The holes will act as steam vents so that the dough won't puff up in the oven. Then take a sheet of aluminum foil or a sheet of parchment paper, cover the dough, and press the foil or the parchment paper into the contours of the pan. To help the dough to hold its shape during baking, fill it with pie weights, which for me are two pounds of dried beans. I'm going to pop this into the freezer for, oh, 10 to 15 minutes. Meanwhile, I am preheating my oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 220 degrees Celsius. I have put my well-chilled pastry dough 
on a baking sheet. And now I am going to pop this into the preheated oven for about 15 minutes. Now, remove the foil and the beans. Here is our pastry crust. It's not quite done yet, so reduce the oven temperature to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius, and then put the pastry back into the oven for about 10 minutes. The pastry is done when the bottom feels dry to the touch. Here is the finished pastry shell, and it is definitely dry on the bottom, so it is done. You might be glad to know that if you are making this dessert on a hot summer day, as I am, that this is the only thing you will need to bake in the oven, just the pastry shell. The rest of this tart is no bake. While the pastry shell is cooling, I'm going to go ahead and make the filling. So what I have here is eight ounces or 226 grams of softened cream cheese. And to this, I'm going to add a half cup or 50 grams of confectioner sugar. I'm also going to add the grated zest of one lemon. This filling is loaded with flavor. Use a spoon or spatula to mix the cream cheese and the confectioner's sugar and the lemon zest together. Beat the cream cheese mixture just until it is smooth. My tart shell has cooled completely, so now I'm going to add the cream cheese mixture. Just plop it right into the center of the shell. Don't want to waste any of this mixture. Use an offset spatula to spread the cream cheese all over the bottom of the pastry. I'm going to link this removable bottom tart pan in the description below. The pan is not at all expensive. Now we need about one pound of perfectly fresh, perfectly ripe, preferably local strawberries. What you do is just cut off the stem end of the strawberries and then arrange them in concentric circles. And of course, the cream cheese mixture will hold the berries in place. To gild this lily, I'm going to glaze the strawberries so they will shimmer. So I have two tablespoons of strawberry jam. You could use apricot jam or apricot jelly. And to the jam or jelly, add one teaspoon of regular granulated sugar, which should be poured from a cordial glass. And then use an adorable little whisk to stir the sugar and the jam together. And then pop this into the microwave until the jam melts and it begins to bubble. That's going to take 30 to 45 seconds. Brush the heated jam right over the berries. It's time to unmold this masterpiece. 
So just take a water glass or a jar, put the tart on top, and voila. If you are not going to serve the tart right away, just pop it into the refrigerator. It will stay fresh and wonderful for up to three days. To further gild this lily, I'm going to add a little sprig of mint right in the middle. I've already warmed the teapot and I'm going to be serving Earl Grey. I'm going to change my shirt and then we can head into the music room. A taste. Mm. You guys, you do not need me to tell you how delicious this tart is. The crust is almost cookie-like because we added an egg to the mixture. And of course, the cream cheese filling is lemony and just magnificent. And the star attraction the glazed strawberries are fresh and soft because they are perfectly ripe. I really hope you will give this tart a try someday. And you do not have to serve it with tea. This tart would be marvelous with a bottle of Prosecco or a bottle of champagne. I will link the recipe to the tart in the description below, and I hope you will give it a try. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you in next week's video. Bye for now.